take you live to the pictures that we have the latest from that school along Ngong Road that you understand is a two-story building uh, that uh, students are already in class and uh, we're just looking at uh, uh, what's happening. You can see that uh, the, the rescue mission is on the ground trying to uh, do as much as they can. What you know is that uh, the record streams uh, teams, uh, like uh, my colleague uh, said, that have arrived with the scene and pupils were reportedly in the classroom, of course, being um, 835. You'd expect that uh, the learners had really uh, had just got into their classrooms and going through their morning preps and uh, now they were preparing uh, for the start of the day but unfortunately uh, this is what they uh, get to so the efforts being made there uh, to rescue as many students and uh, people as, uh, as possible we're still waiting on information to know how many learners were in that classroom um, and how many would have uh, been uh, have been rescued already and then in, in as far as um, uh, the situation as it is you can see uh, the construction there we're still waiting to see the information on how uh, those being rescued are being attended to but as we said uh, the Kenya Red Cross uh, teams are down on the ground trying to do that uh, sure, uh, uh, or, or rather uh, when we are sure as soon as uh, we know uh, where they are being taken we'll be sure uh, to tell you that a classroom uh, this is according to St. John Ambulance saying that uh, a classroom wall has fallen with pupils inside at the Goretti Corners in John Ambulance are the scene uh, casualties being stabilized and evacuated to get the Kenyatta National Hospital um, so that uh, they can be attended to. So you can see uh, the workmanship that had gone in there. Uh, we do not know what led to uh, that collapse. We'll be sure to get details as soon as we can get. You know, we can probably take a listen to what uh, the events are there on the ground. Those are the live pictures from uh, the Precious Talent Top School uh, along Gong Road that uh, we understand a wall collapsed and of course that's that's the aftermath of the rescue mission. The first responders uh, get in to attend this, to the situation. The information we have from uh, the Kenya Red Cross is that our teams are on the ground. The St. John Ambulance teams are also on the ground and they are rescuing the learners who are they are taking them to Kenya National Hospital. As soon as we have more information on where others are being taken, we'll be sure to bring it to you. But you can see, uh, like I said earlier on, the situation um, of the materials that have constructed that house We'll be sure to get information on how many learners were on the, uh, were in that class and uh, what exactly triggered that uh, offense to go down. As much as uh, it has gone down, we would want to know what was the problem. In as far as uh, was it a question of workmanship or was it um, uh, any eventuality that would trigger such kind of an event? But we'll be sure uh, to get the details. Uh, as we say that uh, this, uh, the breaking news um, that we're receiving this morning uh, from Precious Talent. Uh, top a school Right, like I said, uh, that uh, we are still waiting to see uh, how many learners have been rescued from there, and um, in as far as that is concerned. So a very unfortunate incident uh, happening this morning as learners were preparing uh, to get into the classroom and continue their learning, being the first day of the week, and uh, we wait to see um, the impact of uh, uh, this a two-story building uh, that um, uh, went down, uh, collapsed uh, this morning. 
um, uh, of course, triggered by the wall, according to the stories that we have. And um, I want us to take a look at uh, some of the tweets that are coming through. As I said earlier, from the St. John Ambulance, a classroom uh, wall has fallen with people inside at the Gorotic Corner. St. John Ambulance are the scene. Casualties being stabilized and evacuated to the Kenyatta National Hospital. The tweet that came through, I would show you some of the learners that um, uh, were... I rescued a few minutes ago. I want to take a look at uh, what uh, the Kenya records are saying on Twitter uh, so that uh, th this is um, a, a classroom with pupils inside collapses at a school along Gong Road, Nairobi. Records and uh, EMS Kenya response teams are at the scene. Details uh, to follow. Uh, that's in accordance with what the Kenya records has to say. But uh, again, those are the live pictures. Of course, uh, first responders uh, alongside the uh, what, what do you call it them? Um, the professionals, that is the Kenya Red Cross, as well as the St. John Ambulance and others, uh, joining with the teams on the ground to um, go through the, what do you call it, debris that uh, is on the ground, just to be in a position to be certain that nobody, no learner, uh, is being buried by what has now become uh, the debris or the of, of the class that uh, went down this morning. So, uh, several efforts, uh, the human effort uh, going on there to be sure uh, to rescue as many as possible. And uh, we do not know the number of um, uh, victims or learners that have been affected, those who have been injured. Uh, but what we know is that uh, they are being stabilized uh, while others are being taken to the Kenyatta National Hospital. We go back to the scene for um, just momentarily.
All right, in case you're joining us uh, now, we're live uh, from Gwang Road, where we understand that a school has uh, collapsed a few minutes ago. Uh, actually, this morning, that is a precious talent top school uh, that um, the wall that was on the other side went down and collapsed. And uh, what we know so far is that uh, there have been five learners who've been taken to hospital. The St. John Ambulance says that they are in critical condition and they have been taken to the Kenyatta National Hospital. Uh, just coming to terms with the impact of that. Once again, five learners have been taken to hospital that is the Kenyatta National Hospital and St. John Ambulance says that they are in critical condition. As you can see on the screen, uh, the responders there continue to uh, cope through the rumble or what you may call debris as they try to rescue would-be learners who may be trapped uh, inside there until this moment. What we know so far, like I said, is that um, uh, five learners so far have been confirmed uh, by St. John Ambulance to have been taken to hospital in critical uh, condition. Uh, we wait to see uh, how many more will be rescued even as we plan uh, to talk to the St. John Ambulance uh, representative on location to bring us to speed on uh, how far they have gone in as far as their rescue mission is concerned, uh, how far they are in um, um, taking charge of going to account for the learners uh, who were in that classroom. We do not know how many uh, learners the two-story building was accommodating at the time that it went down. Uh, we do not know uh, how many made way to escape from uh, the scene, uh, but uh, what we know for certainty uh, from as confirmed by the St. John Ambulance is that uh, five learners uh, uh, have been taken to hospital in critical condition um, after being stabilized on scene on the scene as the response uh, continues. You can see the members of the public joining the professionals from the St. John Ambulance as well as the Kenya Records uh, getting to go through, uh, go through the uh, debris to uh, seek whether there are any learners um, uh, trapped in there. So we continue to focus on this story as we wait to speak to a representative of the St. John Ambulance in as far as this is concerned. We also understand uh, that uh, as soon as uh, this um, happened this morning, uh, there has been um, parents going to the scene that uh, parents have been rushing to the Precious Talent Primary School on Gong Road, Nairobi, after the classroom uh, collapsed. This is according to t a a a Teddy, um, who works at Hot 96. Of course, uh, the information that we are getting is that uh, the parents, you can see there, the uh, responders getting to retrieve some of the books, uh, the bags of the learners who had already made their entry into the classroom being a Monday morning um, only to turn out to this. So we'll be sure to see um, how many more that would appear like uh, probably the back of the classroom where the learners would uh, usually put their bags uh, carrying the books and then they can sit on the um, lockers as usual how a classroom would be arranged. So in as far as how many victims, um, an indicator may come from the number of bags that are, um, are still inside that classroom. It may give an indication of how many learners were in the uh, class but of course we'll be seeking to also speak to uh, the management of the school that is um to give us a point of view from the precious talent top school, how many learners uh, were in the classrooms housed by the two-story building uh, that came down uh, this morning. <laughs> Hello. No. Video, video, not to me. I'm not to video what's up. Nani vijana, muda upande hii. Muda upande hii tuwate pesi ya. 
As you see watching the break, the breaking news on your screen. A classroom collapses uh, in Nairobi. That is precious talent top school in uh, along Gong Road. What see, we know so far is that uh, the classroom collapsed or the, the building, the two-story building collapsed after uh, a wall at the side went down. And uh, so far what you're seeing on your screen, um, responders getting to um, try as much as possible to come through uh, the the debris that is of, of course the after effect of uh, the collapse and um, uh, trying to rescue as many as possible we're just trying to um, 
Look at the information that you're receiving so far and reconcile it. What you know so far from the St. John Ambulance is that uh, five uh, students or pupils have already been rescued and taken to the Kenyatta National Hospital. Uh, when you look at uh, what the Kenya Red Cross is saying is that uh, the classroom with pupils inside collapses uh, at a school along Gong Road, Nairobi, the Red Cross and EMS Kenya response teams are at the scene. And uh, the latest from e -plus, e e EMS is uh, E-plus ambulances are saying that um, uh, four have been taken to the Kenyatana, uh, Kenyatta National Hospital uh, by the E plus ambulances after being stabilized. And uh, of course, the exercise continues to ensure uh, to try as much as possible to rescue the number of learners that are in that classroom. We so far don't have any, any information on um, how many learners were in class, but understandably, we've seen a number of school bags that have been taken uh, from uh, this, uh, the, the, the scene. Uh, as the responders getting to move them away. You could see, you could count. Uh, quite a number of uh, school bags uh, that would indicate the number of learners that are in, inside the classroom. But you see, we're uh, trying to get hold of the management of the school, uh, even as uh, they go through this very trying moment, just to give us an account of how many learners had already made their way into the classroom, uh, how many learners are uh, uh, occupied, or rather uh, accommodated inside the two-story building, and what sort of um, uh, impact has befallen them. Again, uh, five, according to the St. John Ambulance, have been taken to the Kenya National Hospital. But according to the Kenya Red Cross, who are retweeting what the E-plus ambulances are saying is that uh, four pupils have been taken to the Kenyatta National Hospital uh, via the E-plus ambulances. That's the information that we have so far. Uh, but uh, efforts to uh, rescue as many as possible continue. You can see on your screen so many uh, members of the public um, appearing or heeding the call uh, to be together with humanity to rescue uh, uh, as many as possible trying to do their bit. We've seen uh, several of them getting to um, come through the debris, uh, albeit manually getting to remove the debris on them just to be in a position to um, see if there are any persons or any learners that have been trapped uh, inside there. We're still trying to get a hold of uh, the uh, people on the ground to give us an update on uh, the progress so far made. You can see officials of the Kenya Red Cross getting to uh, communicate with the uh, members of the public that are there uh, to be in a position to um, give the assistance that they have uh, in as far as this is concerned. So we'll be sure to get more information as soon as we can. Um, we're also getting information from uh, our reporter, Eric Owenga, who works for Radio Citizen. He's telling us of uh, certain uh, casualties. We'll be sure to confirm how many uh, have lost their lives. We do not have a confirmation on that, but we have an indication that some may have uh, uh, lost their lives. And it is reported that the classes that crumbled down were housing junior pupils and those who were affected uh, six, seven, and eight classes of uh, um, a, a pre precious a talent. So we can see there pro Principal Secretary uh, Belio Kipsang on the ground. Um, the, this is the Principal Secretary uh, for Basic Education. He is there to um, assess uh, the situation that has befallen a uh, precious talent um, a top school um, that went down this morning. So rescue operations are being led by the Kenya Red Cross and the number of uh, the dead. Uh, the, the sources are saying that it's likely to go up uh, since there are other uh, feared to still be trapped uh, inside the debris. And uh, like I said, the principal secretary is there. Uh, Eric Wenga, our report on the ground, is telling us that there could be some casualties, um, people who've lost their lives. We're waiting to uh, verify the number of those as soon as we have. <laughs> All right, and we want to speak to our report on the ground. That is Nganga Njeroge. Nganga, good morning. Of course, very sad news coming from uh, Precious Talent Top School. Um, what have you been able to see? Umepata nini katika Tokyo Hilo ni wanafuzu wangapi? Ulikuwa katika madarasa yenyewe na wangapi umeweza kuathirika kwa jinsi ya kupata majiraha na iwapo kuna wale ambao tunambuko makuna tarifa, kuna wanafunzi ambao wamepoteza maisha yao. Unaweza kutupa tarifa kuhusiana sola hilo? Na, matanti ilipana asamu na bila shaka na kwa jidi wa kofi kabisa kutoka enyo la mkasa 
Anita katika barabara ya Gongo katika shule ya msingi ya kibinafsi ya Precious Talent hapo kupitia sasa tunapasha uh, wakoko wa kundi kama watatu hivi waweza kupoteza maisha yao wakati ya leo katika mkasa ambao ulitokea mida ya saa moja hivi na hapa asam kuweza kutupatia vile hali ilivyokuwa niko na majakati ya wazazi wa shule hii aweze kutuelezea vile amba, ambavyo hali ilivyotokea na labda kusikia sasa shughuli ukuaji zimefika wapi labda hujambo na shukrani na tukozungumza na runinga ya sisi labda utueleze hali ilikuaje na nini ambacho kitokea mida ya asubuhi hali ilikuwa ilileta watoto sikii ilileta watoto mapema sana by 6:15 yeye mzanga apotea ikatokea sikii yeye hii issue leo iliweza kubomoka sasa wazazi wapigie siku wakuja ndio 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 sana watoto ni wengi waliozea lakini ya kijui ni kiasi gani eh labda sikie sasa mumeweza kufanya hadi familia wanafunzi ambao kwenda wamepoteza maisha yao vile vile idadi ya majeshi kutoka ni ndani haiwezi kujulikana sana wengi haiwezi kujulikana sisi ni watu wa watu wa kiana wakoreko sasa tujui mwaka naam uh, kama ulivyosikia Sam ni kwamba idadi kamili ingali haijulikani lakini kwa kuweza uh, uh, kujifunza na baadhi ya wazazi matolezia kumbe kama uh, wanafunzi kwa kasi kutambua wameweza kupoteza maisha yao idadi ya majeruhi kwa ingali haijamai ni kawazi uh, huku shughuli za uokoaji zikuwa zinaendelea maafisa wa usalama wakiwa wanaungana na nchi hapa na mamlaka ya Iran na vile vile idara ya St John's Ambulance wakisaidiana na maafisa kutoka idara ya County Nairobi anasema kusaidiana angalau kuweza kuokoa maisha ya wanafunzi ambao huenda wakawa wamekwama katika uh, mabasi ya nyumba hili ama shule ama madrasa ambayo yaweza kuokoa mida ya asubuhi asubuhi uh, mapema uh, sam guys as <laughs> That, that is uh, Nganga Njoroge. We are having challenges with his audio, but uh, uh, we will be sure to uh, correct it so that we are able to hear him uh, clearly. But uh, uh, he was there speaking to one of uh, the parents who have reported to the school, uh, getting to understand, come to terms with what has happened this morning. Uh, we have seen the principal secretary, Belio Kipsang, on the ground. Um, indicating uh, that uh, the government response is already on the ground they are there to uh, witness um, the rescue mission going on i just want to take a recap of what uh, information that we know so far we are we, are, we understand that there could be uh, some casualties from um, the incident in as far as the number is concerned we do not do know that for certainty uh, we are still trying to verify the information we have but also we know that um, at least four learners have been taken to the Kenyatta national hospital this is information uh, that we are reconciling from what the E plus uh, ambulances are tweeting and retweeted by the Kenya Cross indicating that four people have been taken to hospital uh, but the St. John ambulance speaks to us and tells us that uh, uh, five have been injured and taken to uh, the Kenya National Hospital all in critical condition. The other information that we have from our reporter um, Eric Wenga is that uh, it is reported that they crumbled down uh, the, the, the classes were housing junior pupils and those who were affected uh, six, seven and eight eight classes of precious talent uh, top school uh, the other information is that um, the incident uh, happened earlier this morning in as far as the exact time i was still trying to get a clarity on that but the number of the dead are uh, reported that uh, the number could rise because they're still uh, learners were still trapped um, in the debris in as far as the certainty of that is concerned you're still waiting to speak to the officials of the kenya red cross as well as uh, uh, the st john ambulance so on the ground and also we'll be speaking uh, we'll be hearing from the principal secretary in charge of basic education that is dr belio kipsang uh, to give us an update on what he knows so far Zinze. exactly you know some as we even as we're watching the activities on the ground folks as you can see more cops are on the ground earlier on when we broke this news majority of the people who are um, actually removing the debris as you can see were residents are kenyans sort of helping um the team on the ground from the kenya red cross as well as the ambulance team right there as you can see um um, but I am I, sadly I am reminded um, some the fact that um, just this year alone and, la and last year as well 2018 mm -hmm. we saw a number of buildings having to be brought down should if we were serious about perhaps the quality of our buildings mm -hmm. 
such scenarios, such incidents will not be happening. Mm -hmm. There was a time when buildings in Nairobi were earmarked for demolition. And uh, this just now re respects this conversation again mm -hmm. in terms of the sort of uh, quality our buildings hold. This is a school, ladies and gentlemen, the Precious Talent Top School along Gong Road. And so far, from what we know, four children, four learners, four pupils have been taken to the Kenyatta National Hospital. Could this have been stopped if the quality of our buildings were a bit more proper? Right. And um, the latest uh, from... At the school, Precious Talent Top School. We will be speaking to Eric Owenga, our reporter, shortly on phone to give us an update of um, what we know. So, Eric, uh, good morning. I have seen some information that you're sharing with us. Can you uh, bring us to speed on uh, the number of casualties? If we have any confirmation so far, how many uh, have lost their lives? How many have been taken to hospital? And more importantly, how many learners were in that classroom uh, that we are still trying to look for this morning? Thank you very much, Sam Bichuku. According to the scant information that we've gathered from this place here, because even the police officers who are right now uh, trying to attack the rescue operation here, they have not spoken with us. But what I can tell you so far, we can authoritatively confirm two people, all two people have been confirmed dead. That is uh, after the tragedy that happened at around 6 a.m. in the morning. But what I can tell you right now, Sam, is according to the locals uh, who came here in the morning to help in this rescue operation, we were told that at least 30 people were injured and have been rushed to the hospital. And even as we speak right now, the, the operation to retrieve if there is anybody is still underway at this place because the building was a two-story building. And uh, we were told that uh, the classes which were really affected in this incident were class 6, 7, and 8 because they were below the class which was which crumbled down, according to that is eyewitnesses and other locals who came in the morning to help in the, this rescue operation, Sam. Just for the sake of clarity, did you say that uh, 30 pupils have been taken to hospital? In fact, it is more than that because uh, according to information that we've gathered from here, the school had uh, more than uh, 200 pupils. And uh, we were told that uh, uh, those who were in the, in the lower classes uh, were in, on top of the building. And that will mean they were the majority of this uh, school. And uh, uh, even as we speak right now, Sandy took, I think, uh, the rescue is still underway. And uh, what I can tell you is that those who were taken to the hospital, there are more than 30. There are more than 30 because this school had... Uh, at least 200 people. Right. And as we speak right now, the... Uh -huh. Right, and, and Eric, yes, even as you tell us about um, the, how the class was, the upper floors and the lower floors, what is the material that had constructed this building? Um, because we are seeing a lot of iron sheets being moved away from the uh, debris, and what exactly led to uh, the situation that we have now? The component that uh, is comprising of this, uh, the said school is uh, iron sheet and uh, some wood and also uh, some metal. I think uh, metal was used to erect the building up and uh, the, the, the bigger component of this school is iron sheet, including the, uh, the, 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 the all sides of this. I mean, let me say the, the rooftop is iron sheet and also um, the, the wall is also iron sheet. Mm -hmm. and, um, Yes, and uh, the, 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 the said classroom that crumbled down was made of iron sheet and mm -hmm. it was erected by metal. And I think due to weight of pupils that were running in the morning from that class, that's why it crumbled down San Bituku. So it was not made of maybe bricks or mm -hmm. any sort of stone, but I think uh, it was just iron okay. and wood and metal. Right. I mean, Eric, this is Zinzi Kibiku here. Just a very quick question for you. Have you had a chance to sort of talk to the school management? Has the school management said any word so far? Okay. Right now, the school proprietor is here, and uh, we've not got a chance to talk to him because I think even himself is also under panic mm -hmm. based on what happened in the morning. And I think maybe we'll get a time maybe after a while from now because right now what's happening, people are just trying to see if they can rescue or if they can also try and and comb the, 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 rub, the rubble uh, 
in this place here. So with him, I've seen him here, but again, I don't think he, he may be able to delve deeper uh, okay. details uh, regarding this school. But again, right. we'll push him harder to ensure that we get maybe, okay. if at all, the school really uh, achieves the requirement of uh, right. the Ministry of Education in terms of construction. Because right now, as we speak also, the Principal Secretary for Education, Belia Kipsa, is also here. That will mean... Uh, uh, they also have to do some maybe assessment and also we can right. also be giving us maybe yes, the report regarding the today's incident, Tangituku and Bichu. Okay, okay, all right, Eric, uh, we uh, thank you so much. Please continue to look for, far, for more information in as far as what's happening. Uh, but you can see on your screen that uh, there has been um, members of the public, I, be, I believe some of them are parents. Let's just listen into what's happening there. Um, uh, unfortunately, it's such an emotional situation. Um, I am not certain about that, but... Images on your screen, you'd see um, several members of uh, the public, uh, some of them being parents who have learners at the school. Right, so the parents, some of them are parents of the Precious Talent Top School um, that have reported to uh, the school and um, the unfortunate incidences of coming to terms with uh, what's transpiring in the school. According to a reporter, Eric Wenger tells us that um, uh, from what they have been able to witness, uh, at least 30 pupils have been injured and taken to hospital. According to the e ambulances, they are saying that they have taken four pupils uh, to the Kenyatta National Hospital. That was a tweet that they released uh, quite a while back, a couple of minutes ago. According to the Kenya Records, on what they said on Twitter is that uh, four people uh, had been taken 
to hospital, but the St. John ambulance uh, speaks to us, confirming about five. Uh, but our reporter, Eric Oenga, tells us that um, uh, from his count, uh, more than 30. But some more information is that uh, we understand that the school, uh, Precious Talent Top School, has more than 200 pupils, and therefore the uh, tragedy that might have that has hit that school might be uh, higher than what we know. But um, in as far as the rescue operation continues, uh, we have they, we have no official confirmation on how many people they have been in a position to rescue, uh, take to hospital, and as uh, the unaccounted for the, the, 